Welcome to conjugates. What's the point? And so here's an example of a an expression that contains a radical. And what we'd really like to do is find a way to deal with that radical and make it go away, besides just erasing it. And so what we can actually do is multiply this expression by its conjugate. Now here's where the magic begins. The square root of x times the square root of x is x. And so notice that the radical expression is gone. The square root of x times negative 1 is the negative square root of x. 1 times the square root of x is positive square root of x. And positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And so you'll notice by multiplying by the conjugate, I eliminate the radical on the first term, doesn't exist on the last term, and I get rid of it in the middle. And so I end up with x minus 1 by multiplying it by the conjugate. It eliminates radicals. So what's the real point of multiplying by the conjugate? Well, sometimes we get expressions that look like this. Now, occasionally what we want to do is make this into a more beautiful expression or an equivalent expression and what we have to do is multiply top and bottom by conjugate because you can't just go around changing expressions. Okay? So we would end up doing something like that and this would end up looking like this. x minus 1 over x times the square root of x minus 1. And so this might help us out at some point in helping to evaluate our limits.